What's up, gamers? Welcome to episode 56 or 7, maybe? 57, 56, something like that. I don't know. We're almost to 60 already. Holy crap, man. We keep going every day, and these uh, videos keep pumping out, and you guys keep loving them, so we're just going to keep on going. You know what I'm saying? Um, by the way, I have not had any uh, build tours scheduled anytime soon, so if you have uh, any sort of awesome builds, they don't have to be absolutely crazy. I would prefer they were bigger than, you know, like a little, like, you know, that or something. But, uh, yeah, if you've got some sort of build tour set up and ready, um, yeah, let's get together. Hit me up in the Discord. Hit me up on YouTube, whatever you want to do, and uh, we'll get going. But today we are going to probably gather some materials because we need a few things here. Um, I don't know was the last time that I got charcoal, so we're going to go check on charcoal real fast. And hopefully you guys are having a fantastic weekend. I'm going to end the creation of this video. By the way, a lot of people have been asking for the video for the macro. I'm not sure if you got the notification for it, but I did just upload the video for the speed pickup macro thing that we've been doing. Uh, it allows you to pick up and and build and everything extremely fast, so uh, take advantage of that. I don't imagine there's a way to fix it as far as like maybe if like Grounded wanted to nerf it or not. I'm not sure if they could would do that or could do that or whatever. Hopefully not, because I'm very used to it at this point, and it's really helping out with my mega builds big time. But, uh, yeah, go check that video out. It is up now, finally, a week later, after everybody's been asking for it. So uh, I'm going to come over here and see if we've got uh, if we've got our charcoal up, and if, if we do not, we're going to go get some rust, because I do need some rust um, to make my ash walls and things like that. So let's see. It doesn't look like it has respawned and I don't remember. I did it on my TikTok live yesterday, so I don't remember exactly what time I did that, but we're going to head over to the toolbox and at least get us some rust for now. Um, so I hope, like I said, everybody's having a fantastic day. I'm having a great day, man. I got my coffee going. I got I'm energized, ready to knock out and knock out some content today. We're probably going to go live on TikTok as soon as I upload this, which I don't know why I'm telling you cuz it's probably going to be too late by the time this actually uploads cuz I am probably only going to be live for about an hour over there. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Get the sip right quick. All right, so I'm going to be heading over to the toolbox to get us some rust. Um, if you ever need rust, you need a lot of ash walls, or you want to make a rusty spear or anything like that. A lot of people just don't even realize, like, don't even know where to look for rust, how to get it. Uh, it doesn't really tell you. Um, the only way you ever really know if you're playing the game that you can get rust is if you accidentally walk past a rusty nail and you see the hammer icon, or, uh, you know, you, you level up to the point where it automatically unlocks Rusty Spear for you, and then you're like, wait, how do I get Rust? And then you Google it and all that good stuff. So now you don't have to because I'm going to show you. Uh, it's going to take me a second to get there, though, because sadly I don't have my running gear on. Do I have this? Yes, I do. We could take off the intern badge and get there a little bit faster. Intern badge slows you down, but it also allows you to carry a lot more sticks and things. All right, so... I don't know when my charcoal is going to respawn. Hopefully, maybe the next day. It respawns every five days. It doesn't matter what time of day it is that you harvest it. So say you're on day 700, you could harvest it in the evening on day 700, and then on day 705, the morning of day 705, it'll be respawned again. That's that's at least, you know, from my own personal testing. It could be different, but I've been getting anywhere from 20 to... 32 charcoal. I'm really not a huge fan of the days that it's like around the 20 area because that kind of sucks. But let's see here. Where are we at in reference to the toolbox? I think we can start heading this way if we can avoid this black ox beetle here because I don't feel like fighting him right now. All right, let's go. These giant footprints. Jesus. Imagine if there was a. Uh, imagine if there was a. A human out here walking around like I guess like I guess I can't say human because technically we are humans too but a big person a full-sized person a person of great magnitude okay come on we're almost there running out of breath here running out of breath okay here we go rest time looks like I'm gonna have to go ahead and kill this ladybird or she's just gonna mess with me maybe all right we'll try and leave her alone Try and leave her alone for now. All right, so here we go. Here's rust, if you didn't know. This is rust here. 
and I'm just gonna all the rust always falls out of the head of the nail if you did not know that so make sure uh, if you're using the macro pickup thing you can just hold down your hold down your mouse button and smack the head on the hammer and it'll just automatically pretty much automatically pick it all up for you now this one here is going to fall down because oh that's not what I wanted to do there's some more right here uh oh I think he knows I think he maybe knows. He's that or he's after an aphid. Either way. Yeah, he knows. I think he knows, dude. He's on to us. Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. No, we're good. Okay. I don't know what he's I don't know what he's all on about over there. Alright, let's see if I can successfully grab this. Looks like we did. Cool, perfect. Oh, I also don't feel like fighting Black Widow right now, so we're going to try and avoid that at all cost. Yeah, the amount of rust you get here is is OP, dude. I mean, we're already at 52. This will last us for a while, so you just got to do like one rust run every, you know, every so often, but this is definitely the best place to get it. That's for sure. Uh, you can also get it. I know there's some on the 2x4, and I believe like on the, uh, now we've got spiderlings after me. Lame. Leave me alone, spiderlings. I do not want to fight you. I have not come here for you. Hmm. Let's get these couple pieces here. Hopefully without getting waxed by spiderlings. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. Leave me alone, widow. Alright, I believe I've got all of it that I can get from here. Maybe there's... Another, yep, there's maybe a couple more pieces right here. All right, and this is going to leave us with uh, almost 100 rust, dude. Almost. Almost. Okay. All right, I think we're good. I think I got it all. We got it all? I don't see any more nails, do you? I do not see any more. It's good enough for me, dude. Nearly 100. All right, so now we're going to go back. I do have 17 brought bursts, so I could go uh, clover collecting too because I do know that uh, that I'm about out. I had about 1,000, 1,200 clovers, I think, and yesterday's video we used up the majority of them. But uh, we are, what, seven minutes in here. We're going to go ahead and give you guys the word of the day while it's fresh on my mind, and that word is going to be lady because these guys are so mean and will not leave me alone. So your first word to hide in the comments, if you want to play along, is lady. I wish there was something actually beneficial for growing growing grass, because it's I think it's cool. All these seeds, you can just plant them and grow grass. But um, what am I looking at? A milk molar. Hold up. Hold up. Is there a cave down here or something? Wait, I just heard the... Oh, okay, that's a moth. So is there a cave down here I don't know about? Where's this milk molar at? Warby the milk molar. It's close, bro. It's close. And I can't seem to... Okay, that got further away from it. I'm trying to get it to where it shows three bars on my scabby here. Okay, so... Alright, it's not this way. Where the heck is this thing? I wonder if it's underground somewhere. I can't seem to get closer than two bars, so it must be underground. It must be underground. Maybe it's in like the ant hill or something. I don't know. I know I ha I don't believe I've made it to the. Let's see here. I know there's a cave around here. Is this the cave? Is this the mystery cave where I got to move the ball around? I don't believe I've been in. Yeah, I haven't actually been in this one yet. Yeah, so we got some stuff down here. Let's collect this stuff. This is where the milk molar's at too. Knock this out. Okay, there we go. Play a little ping pong ball for a second. Get in there. Um, I don't know if there's actually a way for me to get up on this in here, but I'm going to try. Maybe I can get on this ledge here. There we go. All right, let's get the milk molar. Nice, dude. I found another one I didn't have. Okay, now let's get this over there. 
see if I can find a way to get up onto this over here, maybe. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not seeing it. Maybe I can jump from this entrance over to there, maybe? That's a long jump. Oh my god, dude. Let's go. We're just better. Get these all these supreme marbles here. Okay. Got all that. All right, we got everything that we needed out of there, I do believe. Cool. Man, when I find those milk molar scab alerts, I got to go for it. You know what I'm saying? Well, luckily, I kind of remembered where this cave was at. I'm going to go ahead and grab this pupa leather up here, too, just simply because I don't have any right now. So I might need it for something. I don't know. I'll probably end up trashing it or something <laughs> to make room in my baggy bag. All right, so here we go. Check out the check out the birdhouse, man. It's looking crazy so far. It's looking crazy. So we've got our brought burst. Let's see here. Really? He's talking to me. Um, so we need to go like here ish. And I don't believe I have a. Okay, let's take this zip line. I was about to say I don't believe I have a zip line that takes me over to the clover area. That's accessible from here but we can take the scenic route the scenic route here and i don't have a dandelion so yeah there's that so we got some rust what else did we get we got some rust we wound up with uh, some additional milk molar stuff that gives me one more regular molar i'm missing a lot of milk molar still i mean for as long as i've been on this world i'm still missing quite a bit and i'm really not 100 percent sure where they're at so that kind of stinks all right we gotta ride this thing all the way there don't we and then maybe i can take the black widow one and just uh fall off over there because that's kind of where we need to be over in that area for our clovers and honestly my my inventory is a little full right now but i guarantee if i jump off of here maybe maybe i can jump off onto the grass the grass roof i think i can live through that let's see if we can live through the grass roof fall that should be okay yeah we're fine we're fine let's go out of the grass warehouse here it's actually getting pretty empty. It's just full of pallets at this point. All right. Hello, buddy. I need a heal. You knew I needed a heal, too, is what it was. He was already on top of it. All right. Let's hot deposit everything here. For whatever we can get rid of. Okay. That cleared our bag up a little bit. Um, now let's. I'm going to drop this leather off at the drying rack, maybe, before I forget. Okay, there's that. And we're going to go get some clovers. I'm going to go grab a few. Because, uh, yeah, reasons. Gigantic uh, birdhouse roof reasons. They go pretty quick. I had 1,200, and I did use, pretty much used them all in about 20 minutes. So they do go very quickly. But this is why we built our auto ant killer trap that I'm probably going to make a tutorial on once I kind of master the design of it. Kind of the same as I did the water, you know, the water tower. Once I once I figured it out completely, I had to make a video. All right, we're going to tick off a bunch of larvas here real quick. Hold that for a second. And I think we might just blow up like five brat burst worth of, worth of stuff. I don't think there's any reason for me to utilize every stinking one of them. Okay, there we go. Now let's just uh, use our little macro that I did just make a video for, in case you didn't know, to pick up all of my clovers and everything else that's within radius. Do, 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 do. All right, there's a hundred clovers. Probably not going to get a couple thousand on this run because I don't want to sit here and, you know get tons of these but uh it does make you like the clover hoover man you're over here like the dyson vacuum 
Zoom, zoom, zoom. Picking it all up. Nom, 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 nom. All right. <clears throat> Where are we at now? 230. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, hello. Wow, you're still not dead. So many larvas. This is how this is how you get larva rated right here. This is how you get larva rated. I don't want to kill them, but I have to because they're in my super awesome clover farming spot. There might be a better clover farming spot that doesn't that doesn't uh, you know contain a ton of larva. I might have to look around and just see maybe where there might be a new mass of clovers, but I definitely think this is probably the best spot to do this, at least with Brot Burst. I mean, it's better than fighting mosquitoes, because most of the other places, that's pretty much what you're going to be doing when you're farming clovers, is uh, mosquito problems. Mosquito problems. Alright, that puts us at 400 or so. Boom. There we go. All right, I think we got all the clovers that I knocked down, so that's fine. Let's go back home. Let's sleep. Let's eat. Oh, inventory's full. Wow. Would you look at that? I've got so much crap in my bag, I can't even carry anything else. There we go. Eat that, and now I can put it away. I really should be collecting this fungal growth, too. Do I have any in my bag? No, I do not. Okay. I was about to say, if I got some in my bag, I'll kill those real quick, but I do not. So we should wait. Can't get, I can't wait to get rid of all this other grass around here, man. Um, eventually, I'm probably going to end up using Brot Burst to get rid of grass. Just because I think that'll be a little bit easier, right? That will be a little bit easier. <laughs> okay, let's deposit in there. That was our pebbles, larva spikes, and sprigs. We'll go back up to the birdhouse and complete the walls, the roofs on the birdhouse. What are we at here? 17 minutes? We still got all the time in the world. You know what I should do is I should go deposit everything up at the birdhouse, and then I should uh, go to the ant farm and see if I can get some more. See how our... See how our uh, our killer thing is working over there. Someone gave me an idea on one of my videos to put, cause, so we tried the roasting spit to lure in the ants, and then we tried the lure trap, which didn't work at all. Uh, we couldn't use the roasting spit because eventually the food will decay and then you have to refill it and just trying to find the most autonomous way to do it. And uh, there's also jerky racks, uh, which is what we're currently using, which is a good way to do it, you know. But um, someone had mentioned putting a pet, like a pet weevil or something, up on top of it. So might give that a shot. Um, I don't know much about, like, aggro from pets to ants, but apparently ants, including the mandible ants, love, love the pets. And I have no idea how these pets are still alive because I've never taken care of them. And it's been, like, at least 100 in-game days, and they're still over there. Like, I thought you had to feed them or something, but I guess not. I guess not. All right, we got a second to sleep here. Let's go ahead and cook up the other two pieces of ash cement. Um, I do have... How many do I have? I'm slowly working up my my collection here. We're back up to about uh, 80, 80 or so ash cement for our little parts on the walls here. There we go. We can sleep now. Nice. Let's see how much more of this uh, roof we can knock out real quick. For the last uh, couple minutes. Oh, I need to put on my Antama and my intern badge. There we go. Now we can carry a bunch of stuff. And like I said, if you do want to know how the heck I'm picking things up so quick, all you have to do is go uh, look at the video prior to this one. And there is a video and I believe the thumbnail is uh, speed clicking macro or something like that. So make sure you watch that. I'm sure it's going to be beneficial to a lot of people that have been curious about how the heck I've been doing this. But uh, 
Whoa, that was weird. I like it a lot more than I like the super build aspect because I'm not a huge fan of standing still and holding the E button and everything. It's just not very exciting for me, I guess. All right, let's see if it's going to allow us to put this down here. It doesn't look like it is, so I'm just going to throw it over here where I know it will sit. And I think that's because we... Yeah, like I got this whole line of things down here. Jesus Christ. Um, I could go ahead and do my overhang wall here for next time so that uh, I can place it over here next time. Oh my God, I don't have any of my freaking things, man. All right, I'm gonna see if I can empty this, uh, <laughs> empty this handful of sticks here. I forgot my sap and my clovers downstairs, sadly. Okay. How many more am I carrying? Eight? Oh my goodness. Okay. Do that just so I can uh, get rid of this wad of sticks in my hand. Um, also, I don't really have an easy way down from here. Kind of not a fan of running all the way around to this side, so I might try and come up with a way to get up here a little bit easier. At least until we get this roof done, a little temporary situation. Um, I might just throw up a zip line like right here, like maybe make a platform, throw up a zip line up here. But then again, if I put a zip line, I can't. Oh god, that's gonna hurt. If I put up a zip line, I can't take a pallet with me, so or I can't take sticks with me or anything. So maybe a bounce web elevator to get up there. But then again, you know. That takes time, and it's just temporary, which is why I have this, like, crazy, stupid-looking staircase <laughs> right now. Some big builds are not easy to, you know, figure out how you're going to make them the best, most efficient ways and everything. Which I'm pretty big on efficiency as far as building goes, but sometimes I can't figure out... The efficient part. Maybe this is the most efficient. Although it does take like 20 seconds to get up here. Sometimes. I guess the probably the more efficient way would be to make this a ramp instead of like really broken stairs. That would probably be better. Alright. Maybe I'll come over here. Work from this side now. Um, okay. There we go. Nice. Nice. All right, so we need the, we can do this like that. Let's see if we can complete this corner here. We'll work from closest to farthest away. So we'll do this. Here pretty soon. I want to get the roof done. So all I've got left to do is just gradually work on the, uh, gradually work on the walls. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. Jesus. Oh, that's not what I wanted. There we go. to finish what Rowan yep I see that Twix <laughs> oh lord that's not the right piece there we go yeah I definitely think I could finish this corner it goes pretty quick, man. It really does. And we still got 24 sticks over in the, uh, on that pallet that I have down there. The corners are a little bit annoying to work on, but they're not too bad. It seems it only takes like a handful, a handful and one pallet to get it done. Oh, there we go. Now we're out of sticks. Okay, so these go here like that. 
All right, maybe one more handful and, and a pallet will be enough. So let's take this down. Take this downstairs, and maybe we can complete that, and then we'll call it we'll call it an episode after that. I think we'll call it an episode. Yes, yes. Make sure you guys uh, like this video, by the way, if you haven't yet. And whoa, that was weird. I used the wrong button. I did the. Okay. Yep. Yeah. All right. It was bugging out there for a second. Let me drink this water. Why is it? Oh, I can't drink it because I'm uh got my hands full. That's fine. We'll be okay. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Do 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 do. I was talking about something there for a second, and then I got sidetracked, and now I don't know what the heck I was talking about. But that's okay. All right, finish this up. Like so. And then we will have one more section of the birdhouse roof that is done. Silent mode, hardcore mega focus, get her done. We're almost there, bro. We're almost there. I'm going to be like one stick short. Watch. Don't wind up one stick short. Uh, not one. Couple. Couple. Oh, looks like I'm running low on something else, too. Uh, oh, no, we got enough. All right, cool. Let's cap that off. Grab grab a couple more sticks and finish that off. And, uh, yeah, we'll call her. Call her an episode. An episode. Looks like I'm finally starting to run low on sticks, too. I sent a ton of sticks over here. An absolute ton. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab some more of this stuff. Grab the rest of my clovers. And the rest of my sap. And that's going to empty us out of material here. And we're going to try and make a full pallet. There we go. 21.42. We're really about to start being super thirsty. But I think I can make it through this little portion of the build. I have to start figuring out the, uh, the actual arms, too, where the supposed pretend crows would come and you know rest or whatever uh, where's that sweet spot at there it is okay a couple more here all right that completes this side and let's do the overhang thing here maybe wait why does that look weird hold on i need this one to go here i believe right is that right yes okay there we go um now we bring this down here maybe like this like this okay and that should do it there okay like this oh this is super sketch doing this this direction man Super sketch. I can't tell which one I'm picking and which one I'm not. How weird. How freaking weird is that? Feels so strange. That one looks way too low. Yes, it is. Like that. Oh, God, don't fall. 
Oh god, don't fall. Do 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 do. Man, it's a good thing I'm not s afraid of heights, I guess. I've thought about building like a balcony around the whole entire outside of this thing too and maybe connecting this like overhanging roof to it or something. I don't know. Just like my, all my projects, I'm sure that I'll think of something that'll make it a lot more complicated than it needs to be. But that's the cool thing about flexing these big builds. Because I can just keep on coming up with cool ideas. I don't have any deadlines now. I don't have to get done in a certain Pacific specific time frame at least unless obsidian decides to hit me up another time for another one i can do it at my own pace now which is still fairly quick i guess okay this i've, I've mastered the i've mastered the process now i've mastered the process although I am too far away from my stick palette to get this last flipping stick. It's okay. It's okay. We're doing good. We're all right. It's all right, all right, all right. <laughs> all right, so that goes like this. And this goes like that. Okay. And then this goes, no, no, no. What the? I can't seem to find the right, where's the right piece? What in the world have I done here? What have I done? I do not know what I have done. There we go. I figured it out, Paul. I figured it out, Paul. There we go. Yes. Very cool. All right. So we are slowly but surely we're done more than 50% of the roof, I believe. Awesome. Well, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, we'll see you tonight on stream if you're going to join us then. And if not, we'll see you on the next video tomorrow. Have a wonderful day, everybody. We'll see you then. Peace.